You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures team. Hello. I heard that um, your harvest was very, very bountiful. Yes. <laughs> Thanks to the land you gave to me. Honestly, the land is too fertile. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's my honor. <laughs> um, you see, that's why I want my people to be prosperous and happy. That's the way, you know, life should go. Where everybody is talking about you. You are too good. <laughs> we are enjoying your rain. Oh. Uh, there's another thing. Yes. I, I think uh, you have to call back the prince to come and witness this year's New Year festival. You know, so he can learn more of our custom and tradition. Mm. I don't know. Is there anything about our custom and tradition that he came, my son does not know? You know, I taught him so well. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Okay. In that case, let him come and stay a little time with me. As the grandson of the oldest man that ever lived in this community and the traditional prime minister of this land, I think there's a lot he's going to learn from staying with me. No, I think you're right. You know, we can never know it all. Um, in that case, when he returns, I will tell him to come and see you. That is it, Igwe. It's very important. Yes. <laughs> we know we can never know all. Uh -huh. You know my son is intelligent. That's okay. Yes. So, <laughs> um, he came. Mabel mm -hmm. told me that she's pregnant for you. Why would she tell you that? Uh, because she was looking for money to abort the baby. Abort the baby? Why would she do a thing like that? Now let me ask you, are you ready to get married to her? Even if you are, she's not from your town, of course, we know. Uh, but even at, even at that, that's not the reason she should think of aborting a child. Okay? That's not enough reason. Uh, it can, is it not better uh, you give her money to abort that pregnancy? No, 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 don't say that. I don't, I don't stand, Because I don't he's, he's somehow bringing a child into this world and you know vividly, very well that you cannot take care of that child. What do you mean I cannot take care of the child? Are you normal? Even if I have 50 children today, I can take care of them. I have what it takes to take care of my children. Really? Yes. Even if I adopt a lot of children, I can take care of them. I go to motherless babies' home to take care of children. Talk more of my own child. What are you saying? Of course I can. So are you saying you want to marry her? Well, I just, I don't know for now, but I'm being hopeful. Since you came back from Canada, this is the only habit you came back with that is pissing me off. Well, Mom, I think the great that I came back home with has covered everything. I came back with flying colors. And come to think of that, you know, you all won't understand how cold it is over there. No one is going to stay in Canada without finding one or two ways on subsidizing with the weather. I mean, it's so cold over there, and over time, this became a habit for me. I'm going to try and stop it, but that will be when the gods want me to. For now, bear with me, Mom. Please. You're not supposed to wait for the gods to stop you, because you're back in your father's land. And the weather here is friendly. Anyway, let's forget about that and discuss more important issues, the reason I'm here. Why is it that you are not interested with the affairs of this community? You're just uh, behaving like a commoner. Not again, mom, not again. I am not the heir apparent to the throne. Of what use would it be to me if I get to learn everything concerning this kingdom? I mean, what would I do with it? I don't, I don't 
don't think I need it. Can you just listen to yourself, Isola? Why are you saying that? Are you trying to tell me that the elders that knows about the affairs of this community, that they are the heir apparent to the throne? Ah, mom, you said elders, elders, elders. I'm a young man and I'm not an elder. Mom, please, can we just... Anything about this learnable kingdom, can we just keep it aside? I mean, I have more personal things that are choking me, things that I should concentrate on and not this kingdom-related matters. <sighs> Your father will honestly be disappointed to hear you say this. <sighs> um, mom, let's change the topic, please. I've got issues that are bothering me. Lately, I've been seeing he came in danger. What's happened to my son? What is wrong with him? There's nothing wrong with him. It's in the dream. <sighs> what I don't understand is why I keep seeing he came in a series of dreams. And in those dreams, I don't like the situation of things. I, I don't know why the face keep repeating. You nearly killed me. But thank the gods, it was only a dream. Would you mind relating to me what you dreamt of? It's just a dream. I thought he's your friend. That's why I told him about it. But you're not supposed to tell him that. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to confide in me. We're in this together. And then he, he said something about you requesting money for abortion. Why would you even think of that? Because I'm not ready to have a child now. You and I know what happened between us was a mistake. And I'm not ready to have a child who is born out of a mistake. Listen. That is a royal blood. It was never a mistake. Okay? And I can never, ever be part of abortion. I can't. It's all in my hands. I wish I had money. If I only I had money, I won't even tell you about it. I'll just go ahead. I don't even need you to go with me. I'll just take care of everything myself. You don't even need to go with me. What's this? I just need money. I need money to do this. Can you listen to me? I don't know why you're tensed. Like I said, we're in this together. It's just to put hands and know how we can sort this out. Now I'm ready to be the father. I'm ready to take responsibility for anything at all. Bravo. Bravo. Yeah. Well said, exactly. You're ready to take responsibility. I'm ready to be the father. The father. So what happens to me? So this is the plan you actually have for me? That I should be a single mother. Me, a single mother? Have you seen what happens to, to single mothers in our society today? I promise you, I won't let that be my lot. Since you're not ready to give me money to abort the child, I'll look for another way and I'll get rid of it myself. Look, look, listen, please. I am the crown prince of Obuto Kingdom. What will people say? That's an abomination. That's what I'm trying to say. And you didn't really allow me to finish. No, no one is talking about you being a, a single mother. I am here to support you as the father. Please, don't think of abortion, please. Do not think of abortion. 
You know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry I told you about it in the first place. But guess what, Prince? He came. If I walk out that door, I promise you will never set your eyes on me again. Sorry. It's okay. It's, it's, it's you can fine. use my water to wash off yeah. the mud on your body. No, it's okay. Um, my place is not far from here. I'll just go home and change. It's, it's okay. I don't know how far your home is, but going on like this is not good at all. You can use my water. I'll go and fetch another one. All right. If you Let say me get so. it. All right. Thank you. Are you mad? What are you trying to do? Eh? Ungozi, I am not mad. I want to give him my water to wash his body. Hey, Gineka, why is it that you always want to act like a good girl? Can you imagine? How can you give your water to a total stranger and then go to the stream to fetch again? Huh? Huh? Nika, calm down. I am not acting like a good girl. I am a good girl. Besides, it is right you help people whether you know them or not. Gineka, the good American, will be on our way. Why is there and good friend you help who you don't know? Is this good job? Let's go. Okay, can you help me just hold this? Okay, hold this. Just take this. So sorry. It's okay. Um, thank you so much. Your trousers. Oh, okay, please. I think it's that bad. Maybe I should just go home. No worry. Huh? I actually can't. I can't wear this for too long. Let me just go home. I really appreciate this. All right? It's not a problem. Thank you very much. Thank you. Your ring. All right. Got a girl in, in school pregnant. You got a girl in school pregnant, and your face is like this. <laughs> Aren't you happy that the royal household is going to expect this all? How dare you? I mean, why should you do? <laughs> wow! <laughs> so it means I'm going to be a grandmother very soon. Yes, you are. Come bring her to me. Guys, that was good. Okay, you know, you are the crown prince of this kingdom and you should be bold at what decisions you make and um, although it's uh, it's wrong for you to impregnate a girl out of wedlock but that's okay 
but you you need to learn to be bold at whatever decision you are decided to make. That's what I've been teaching you all these years. <laughs> Why is your face this way? Don't you love her? Oh, I, I do. I do. Just... So I, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I got it. You think it's going to distract you from taking your exams? Never to worry. Just bring her to us and be assured that we take very good care of her. Yes, son. Bring her. Maybe you don't know what you have just done. You have changed my status. I'm going to be a grandfather. And I'm going to be a grandmother. The latest grandmother in this community. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I, I will, I will, I'll bring her by a weekend. Yes, I'm just, but it's fine. I'll, I'll bring her by a weekend. Okay, I need I really need to run along. I have something doing in school. Uh, all right, good day, Dad. Bye, Mom. Why did you call me here? My father wants to see you. What? Yeah, I told him about the pregnancy. Why on earth would you do that? I told, I told you to forget about it. Why are you so hell-bent in putting him into trouble? Why did you get the king involved? Because it's not just me. This is a royal blood. The entire kingdom is aware of it already. It's not just me. Oh, I see what you're doing. You just want to... Get me into trouble. Look, I'm not getting you into trouble, my dear. No, 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 no. I have already booked a date with a doctor, and that's fine now. No, you can't do that. I know we just met, okay, and you see what happened as a mistake. But you can't obviously get rid of the pregnancy. He's a royal blood. Please. Give me the opportunity to be a father. Don't tell me that. You are not ready to be a father. I am ready to be a father. If I'm not ready to be a father, I won't be clamoring for you to keep the child. Of course I'm ready. I want to be a father. I am begging, please. You can't get rid of me. Anything you are hiding from me? Mabel! Oh. Is there anything you are hiding from me? No, I'm fine. <sighs> Mabel, are you pregnant? Really? So, out of all the 99 problems or challenges anyone could face, you think pregnancy is my problem. Mom, why is that whenever you look at me, you see pregnancy? What's this? <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand you either. Mabel, I do not understand you these days. You never used to keep secrets from me. But all you do these days is sit down one place, stare into the space as if you're seeing some spiritual beings. 
Mom, what exactly is the problem? Because it's obvious, or at least I've been told, that you can never really satisfy humans. And you're beginning to prove that point to be correct. Come on, Mom. If I go out of this house, you complain that I always go out. Now I'm seated here all by myself, just minding my business, and you still have a problem with it. Can you please just leave me alone, please? Maybe oh, oh. uh, I will leave you alone. Thank you. I will let you be. Mm. But when this problem becomes bigger than you can handle, uh, I will remind you that you asked me to let you be. <laughs> Mm. Onowu, mm -hmm. I hope your wife is not at home. Ah, it's your Today is all your market. Okay. What do we not need to be at home around by this time? <laughs> but is there any problem? Yes. The conversation I came with is highly confidential. And I want it to be between you and I alone. What is it about? Uh, some people came from the Kube community demanding to buy some portion of land from the land that the king gave me for farming. You know, their offer is mouth-watering. But you see, the fact is this. I'm afraid that the king might know about it. Mm. <laughs> uh, Who is that again? I'm suspecting you. You <laughs> sound as if you know about it already. Eh? Uh, where is you, Okuchi? Eh? It's still I'm into since last year. And I'm cashing out big time on it. Whoa! <laughs> oh no! Is that? But you know, we are good friends. Eh? Why don't you tell me? Eh? Is it not supposed to be a secret? Yes, but uh, if no but any information that goes beyond one person. Hmm. It's no longer a secret. I hope you are going to keep this a secret between two of us. Ah. Oh no, I promise. Hmm? I really, really promise. You don't know me to be a talkative, do you? Well, let's do this. Eh, no, do have. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Give us a drink now, give us a drink. It's all right. Um, um, uh, who is there? He can just think about it this way. Why don't you just go ahead and send that girl away? I said you're under some kind of influence. So what happens to my child in the womb? Oh, get off it. You and I know that that stain in her womb is not a child yet. Of course you're educated. You should know better than I do. Are you in any way? Supporting that I abort my child? What are you even saying? Well, it's obvious that that might be the only way out of the situation. Because if she goes ahead to have that child, you know she can be king until her father dies. Then, you will marry her. And not just marrying her, she would be a second wife to you. In reality, the king our father does not look like one who is dying anytime soon. Talks maybe 50 years or even more. So tell me, is that girl going to wait till that time? That's the thing. Well, I... 
not in any way a support of abortion. I can't spill an innocent blood, especially when it has to do with my child. He's not a child yet. Why don't you give that girl, offer her money? Enough of this, please. I think I failed as a son. I'm sorry for disappointing you. I'm deeply sorry for what happened. I remember explaining this to you over and over again over the years. That your first child must come from a woman that is a native of this village. A woman that is not from this community cannot be the mother of a king of this land. Your action goes to show that my admonition over the years fell on deaf ears. I'm sorry. It was just a one night stand. Let's just stop crying over spilled milk. I think the best thing you should do now is to give her some money and send her away. Just settle her. The problem is that I don't want to stain my hands with innocent blood. You don't have to go tell her to abort the child. All you do is give her some money as a form of settlement and tell her not to come close to you. If she goes ahead to abort the baby, afterwards then no one is going to blame you. If I give her money now, she will abort it. It's not about the money. It's not about her. It's about my child. Do you want to make sure the child here? Because there is no child yet. And you are not going to have that child. Give her some money. Send her away. Is that too much to do? Is it a difficult thing to do? Do you love her? Then you must be a fool. Don't make me regret calling you my son. How dare you? How could you let yourself fall in love with someone you know you can never marry? Everyone in this community can choose any life they want and live to it. But not you. You cannot just choose any life. You cannot live any life. Because you are the heir apparent to the throne. Well, let me put you through this. Because it's going to be a strong determining factor when you finally make your decision. If you go ahead and marry that girl, that translate to the obvious fact that you have said that your younger brother should be the king after me. And that means in your lifetime, you will never be a king. I really want you to know what is at stake here. And I really do not care to know what's at stake. Come on. Tell your brother to leave me the hell alone. Okay? What, 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 what's this? Why are you making it look like I'm the one hanging on to him? The fact you don't know is that my brother cannot marry you. <sighs> my brother cannot marry a non-indigenous as his first wife. 
if he tries it or insists on doing so, that means he has made up his mind to relinquish the throne. And didn't he know all of this before he started flirting with me? Made love to me without protection, released inside of me. Didn't you know all the while? Well, I, I try to understand why all of this. But let's say maybe he was carried away by your beauty. Of course, you know you're beautiful. Please spare me all of that. Tell your brother to give me some money to abort the pregnancy. I will have to talk to my brother to give you the money. But if he gives you the money, promise me that you will not come for him again. <laughs> you people won't even let me be with him after all. So why hang on to someone who will never be my husband? Anyway, I'm on an errand. I have to go. How do I find you? Same way you found me now. Sweet. That was sweeter than everything I could imagine. But is it possible to give up my throne for the love I have for her? This is really hard. You sent for me? Yes. Um, sorry, my name is... Prince Ikem. You want to be my friend? The answer is no, I'm not interested. But you wouldn't take no for an answer, would you? <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> well, I just wanted us to be friends, uh, you know. I can see this is going to take a really long time because we'll keep going back and forth. And I'm really, I'm not in the mood for all of that right now. My answer is no, not interested. Please, can you at least give me a listening ear? At least you. Can you just stop begging me? You're making me look arrogant. And as it stands, since we really do not have anything to discuss, I have to go now. Have a beautiful day. Who's that? Hey. Hi, please, please sit. Thank you. Well, how did you find me here? Well, a golden fish has no place to hide. I get the prince obviously can't hide. Tell me, why did you stop talking to me? Because at some point you made me feel like I was bothering your life. And you decided to stop. But you should have tried harder. <laughs> not on your mind. That's not manly of you. Well, I wouldn't know if I am... Um... This is 
desligado. Come in. Hey. Uh, you Bro, what's up? Yeah, cool. How's it going? I'm okay. I'm okay. Make yourself comfortable. Yeah, man. What's this? But uh, you won't understand. I know it's because of my will. No. <sighs> Why can't you? Like, I know very well you're not into this girl. But I wonder why you can't discard her. What are you still waiting for? But you know it's not easy. How is it not easy? I love her. Yes, you told me that. But you later stopped the relationship sooner than it took you to get it. Ikem, let me just be honest to you now. Um, I've not known you for, for long. But I think you make mistakes in your dealing. Yeah, you jump into things midway and suddenly you realize that I shouldn't have started it in the first place. I've, I've noticed that about you. And it's very bad. Before you do things, first of all, you check, calculate, ask questions. Yeah. But uh, who wouldn't? I saw her, loved her. I love her, actually. And she's kind to me. So she won my heart. But at some point, I thought about this, that you know you cannot marry this woman because she's not from the same village. But at that point, I've gone far. I've gone, I've gone, I've gone far that I don't know how to draw myself back. Love is something that when it dwells in you, it goes in every part of your body, including your soul. That's the point I am right now with her. And you know how hurtful that can be, right? It's been three days, three whole days, and you haven't called. Hmm. You see the reason why I was avoiding you at first? Because I knew after you got what you wanted, you would just discard me easily. Hey, no, hey, look. I can't explain. What exactly do you want to explain? Tell me. That your village people miraculously came and deleted my number off your phone? Or that the beauty that got you attracted to me in the first place has suddenly disappeared? What can you possibly tell me made you to stop loving me? I didn't stop loving you. Oh. It's just that. It's just that you, you have gotten what you wanted, so there is no need for the chase anymore. No. It's far from that. You know, what happened was just... What happened, Prince Ikem, is of no use to me. It doesn't really matter to me anymore. You know, you know the funny thing? I thought you were different. I, I saw you... I thought you were decent. But just like the rest of them... Just three days, and you've changed your mind. After it took you three good months to get that girl. Became, uh, what kind of woman be like you? Well, this... Uh, I've realized that now I've decided to amend things. Yeah, I, I blame myself for this whole thing. That's, that's the reason I... I want to make amends now. I know that girl is afraid of you. Yeah, she is. Uh, because you can still wake up one morning and decide not to take care of the baby. 
No, that can never be me. Instead, I'll take the child and throw me, throw me the child myself. I can't do that. Again, I think keeping that pregnancy will affect you negatively. Yes. For your future and for the girl's future too. I suggest you give her money to do away with the pregnancy. Ah, oh, hell no, don't even say that. What are you saying? Yeah, I'm royalty. I can't stain my hands with blood. I can't do that. That is never an option. I can't. I can't. You can. You can. Mm -hmm. um, please. Can you lend me some money? I'll pay you back. Can I offer you? You should be talking about to pay me back money, bro. You are know, talking of borrowing you another one. Hmm? I'll pay you now. I'll just lend you another one. I'll bring the two of them at the same time, okay? Promise you that. Okay? Hmm. You better wait first. You know what I'm talking about for now. You come to my palace to query me. Come, if not that you are my son, I will make sure you lose an arm for this non-challenge. Please, calm down. Calm down. He came. You are the most stupid, senseless, Worthless person I've ever seen. How dare you? Huh? It's quite unfortunate that you are my son. And most unfortunate that you are the heir to the throne. Is that how you are going to leave my people when I leave them to you? Don't make me regret that you, 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 you're my first son. I can't control your feeling or perceptions about me. But I want you to leave Mabel alone. Cut her some slack. Let her be! Now leave my presence. Leave her alone. I said, leave my presence! Let her be. Let her be! Don't tell me to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Can't you say I'm dwindling? This is not my old self. This boy wants to ruin me. 